What's up guys, welcome back to the channel Alright, So for today's video, I'll be showing you guys my best settings for Call of Duty. So whether you be playing Modern Warfare 3 or a Warzone, these are my best settings right now. Now, initially I was going to make a video for Season 2, but for two reasons, I just decided to skip it. First being that I was just extremely busy with work. And the second reason is because I had so many issues with performance. I lost like about 30 FPS. It was really weird. And I had so many issues with um, servers. Just my latency overall was just kind of going crazy. Now that season three is here, I know some of you guys have been waiting. So let's just talk about the best settings, not only in game, but also for your graphics card and uh, for Windows. There are a bunch of things that we need to check also for config files. So um, stay until the end for that. First things first, obviously in the display section, you want to use what uh, matches your current situation or your current rig. So display mode, obviously this is the only one that could change. If you have multiple screens and you don't like tabbing out, then borderless is the way, but I don't really mind. I want to, you know, fully benefit from full screen exclusive. So I'll go full screen exclusive. Now your display monitor, choose your monitor, choose your GPU. Um, match your monitor frequency, so your screen refresh rate here, your resolution, all of these, you just have to match whatever uh, works best for you. And the brightness, I would recommend 55, just because there are times where it actually gets dark. Overall, they've gotten better with lighting, but there's just some moments where you need that extra 5. NVIDIA reflects low latency. I would recommend this if you have a somewhat of a balanced rig. Otherwise, then go for OnePlus Boost if you have a better GPU, but my CPU and GPU are both good or both balanced. So I'll go with on. Everything else is fine here. Custom frame rate limit. I know some of you guys want to talk about this. Um, it doesn't really matter. You could go unlimited, you know, just let it go as crazy as possible. Uh, I like to limit it sometimes just like in the menus. I cannot care less. Um, and then during gameplay, I'm never going to reach 300, but it's just, you know, it's just telling my GPU to go crazy and telling my PC to go crazy as, as, as much as, um, it can go. Now in the quality section, this is where it gets important. The only upscaling sharpening method that I would recommend is fidelity effects cast VRAM scale targets around 70 is good for me. You just have to kind of like enable your telemetry in here and uh, be able to see your VRAM usage. Like while in game, I reach around like 50, 60. Um, so 70 is really good. Um, it's not too much and it's not uh, low. Variable rate shading, I would recommend this for everyone. Uh, we get improved performance at the cost of low visuals. Um, where it's controlled honestly and you don't really notice it that much so now this is where it gets interesting pretty much everything is going to be low or off or at the lowest setting only one that you're going to keep uh, at high is texture filter anisotropic um, it's just so the quality of like textures like when you're viewing them at certain angles it, they're just good it's just not going to be flat um, so yeah everything else like I said is low or off now we will go to our NVIDIA driver version. So I'm currently using version 552.12 um, and it's been solid so far, very stable and I actually get way more frames. So I would recommend it. Usually I do not recommend newer drivers just because, you know, they tend to be unstable and, uh, you know, they kind of tend to be like unoptimized for certain games. But for Call of Duty right now, I recommend it. So the next one. Um, that you guys should check is resizable war. So in your NVIDIA control panel, you can go to system information. Just wait for the uh, window to load. And then in here it's gonna say resizable bar. So if it says yes, then you are able to enable it. So what you can do is go to Google or whatever web browser you're using, just write NVIDIA profile inspector and just click the first one. I use this link from GitHub. And uh, pretty much here, the zip file, you could download it. I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Uh, and then you can click NVIDIA Profile Inspector, enable it. And then in section five, it's going to say R bar. This is for resizable bar. 
and you can click enabled and then apply changes then once you are there don't forget to also go into your config files which we are going to go in right now so it's in documents call to the players and then see this biggest or the 16 kilobyte file you can click it and then search for bar it's gonna say enables optimizations when resizable bar don't forget to change this to true um and also one thing you could also check is for hags to be off or hardware accelerated gpu scheduling i recommend turning this off depends on your system i guess but for me it causes some weird stutters micro stuttering and some moments of just uh where it just kind of lags like Honestly, it's very bad, so I would so I would recommend disabling this. And last thing, now that we also went to our config files, we might as well check some other things that you can turn off or that you can change. Really, the important one in here is render worker count. I would not mess around with these other things unless you know what you're doing and uh, unless you're comfortable with changing them. So if you you are not, then the only thing that I would recommend changing is this. So by default, it's at nine for me, um, but I tested with eight and it was good. But the best one for me was really seven. This was like the most optimized one and the most stable one because eight was quite good, but it did fluctuate with my FPS a lot. It went up and down and a nine was just very unstable. That, that's probably one of the reasons why your game could be kind of unstable. Um, it's because it's not utilizing the good amount of threads. So you just got to change it. Change it in here as usual. Save and uh, yeah, open your game back and it should be good. So yeah, those are my recommended settings overall. I didn't dive in too much like into the details or I didn't go crazy. It's really just the type of things I need to check. So you got to check your in-game settings, your NVIDIA driver version, and uh, for resizable bar, check for hags or hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and for your config files pretty much. And I hope you guys um, benefit from this and I hope you guys get more FPS and let me know if you guys have any issues or if there's also something that I missed or something that I could also use for me to benefit from um, so I can get more FPS. And yeah, also ultimately let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Anyways, guys, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.